Hello everyone! Welcome back! I'm the Game Beaver and um Ludia has decided to release another glacier creature, the last legendary, the Indracatherum, 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 whatever you want to call it. It is here! And just let me turn that down. It's not a Jurassic World episode without me turning down the volume because my ear gets blasted off at this point. <laughs> so, um, actually, Shoot. Yeah, we can put Bonitasaurus. We can probably end up speeding him up, but hey. Um, so there is a new glacier creature, and also it just told me that it's completed, and we have our second exclusive statue. That we, this is a really cool idea because only people who have played the game for so long will have these statues. So what they should have done is have them at the very beginning. So I would say, Ludia, if you're listening, if any future ideas for things, um, like if a game, like when Jurassic World the game first came out, if there was an exclusive statue that only came out for the first week of release that you could only buy, then that, it would be like, oh look, I've got this statue and nobody else could have it because you were one of the first people to download and basically support the game. That would have been really cool to do, but it looks like we're doing it now with um, with these sort of statues. We had it for the uh, the killer dodo, death dodo, and now we got it for this, the Easter dodo. So maybe at Christmas, we'll get like a Christmas Rex. That would be pretty cool. Um, 250, I mean, we're not gonna expect amazing prizes. I got it for free. <laughs> what I also realized, was that it, it didn't tell you how to earn it. It just was like, oh, here you go. And then when, it, when you click challenge, it just, t it took you to basically that. So I was guessing that it was just hatching dinosaurs. Um, we had like one day left on it. So we should play, this is like my trophy room. Oh, let me see, what kind of trophy do I have? Oh, let's see. Oh yes, that's right, the Easter dodo, yes. Beautiful. <laughs> so we got like, Oh, look at it, so cool. Ah, my eggs! <laughs> and that's like the regular dodo. Um, so you got the you got the do death dodo. Does it say death? Dodo boss statue. Dodo Easter statue. Is it just a dodo thing? Are they only got a like, dodo Christmas statue? <gasps> so we're not going to have dodos in game, but we'll have dodo statues. Oh, that that's kind of cool. At least you're making use of the uh, model you you've created. I guess. Uh, 22 million... No, no, definitely not doing that. So, we're gonna unlock the Indrika theme. It's gonna be a glacier-based themed episode thingy majiggy. So, we're gonna have to use our uh, aquatic creatures. Um, so, they're all surface, which means, basically, that Hanodus is all we need to kill them. It's like one slap. Bam! Dead. Plotosaurus is actually much better than Mosasaur. Yep, yep, a lot better. So, maybe this wasn't the best thing. Unless he goes for two. If he goes for two, I'm good. Oh, one. Oh, one. Um, is it worth it? I could go for two reserves. Ah, oh, we could have killed him. But then Talosaur would have had three. Go for Oh, there we go. He's got one block, potentially. Uh, Tylosaur's gonna have more attack. Probably about 450, I'm gonna guess. Um, and then I'm gonna go for, gonna go for one block. Oh, there we go. Well, we could have went for two block. Oh, technically even three blocks. 600! Oh, God! Well, he can only hit me for three, so we're not dead. That's good. Oh, that was close. Oh, <laughs> I was a bit worried. <laughs> well, we've won. And notice, you beast. Triple kills. Nice. Bam. Is it pancake or frisbee? I think it's pancake, right? And notice it's pancake. This is a spiky pancake. You don't want to step on that pancake. That would hurt you. There you go. Just two more battles and we've done it. So, ooh, ooh, indeed. Plotosaurus, actually, Plotosaurus isn't gonna kill him. We need a level 40. We need Hainosaur, Plotosaurus, Tylosaur maxed, and then we could kill Dunkelos just in one hit. Um, so, I think it's best to go for Tylosaur because it can definitely kill it in one hit, and then Hainosaur comes in. So then we'll need, um, probably Hanodus level 20, and then just to clear up, we can put in at level 20 Hainos. I think that's good enough. Yeah, look at that. Two, 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 two. Two, 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 two. What's Talosaur's favorite number? Four. <laughs> you thought it was two? Wrong. Four. So, he's not gonna go for anything. I may as well go for some attack. He did block one, which means he's almost dead. So, he's gonna have three, and he can kill me in... Actually, he can't kill me. He can't kill me in three. Oh, Panogamus, look at that. I love the way the uh, the teeth get stretched. 
Oh, he went for full-on two block. There's nothing he can do. Like, when the mouth opens, it's like the skin weights are still on those teeth. They haven't been painted correctly. So when the jaw opens, the teeth get pulled along with the jaw. I know, because I've made mistakes like that in the past. Ram! Awesome. And it's like a little break of the neck. It, like, grabs it and... And there you go. Oh, this is really easy, actually. This It's going to be a six-minute episode. <laughs> Right, there you go, so that's 100 DNA. And you'll also know we're on 560,000 DNA. So, we're, we're probably gonna need it. And there we go, um... We just need... Archelon? Konosaur? Yubun! And there you go, we've pretty much done it. Oh, I'm excited, because that's the last, um, legendary Glacier creature to unlock. I was thinking they were gonna wait, um... A little bit, they were gonna put out the other ones, because we still haven't unlocked... Klenikin. We haven't unlocked the, uh, sorry, not Klenikin. Phosphorus. The Dodo Bird. The not Dodo Bird. What was Phosphorus? Kiwi Bird! That's right. Kiwi Bird of Doom. Um, and we haven't unlocked another thing. I can't, uh, Sarcastodon. We haven't unlocked Sarcastodon, Kiwi Bird, and then Endricotherium. I thought they was gonna go in that order, so Endricotherium would be last. But, apparently not. So, maybe because there's another four creatures to be released. That's Amphicoon, uh, marsupial lion and the two sloths um, I'm guessing that the updates coming soon. That's why they've decided to just throw off Indicatherium right now um, If I, I would like it'd be quite interesting to do an interview with with Ludia as an entity and ask like why Uteranus was held off for so long why um, Argentinosaurus's model disappeared It'd be some questions that like some choice questions that have just like the need answers like what happened? Why? <laughs> How did the aquatic glitch happen? Like, what exactly happened in the program? And stuff like- Oh, we didn't even need you, Moon! Chronosaur's got this. He's got 800 attack. He can kill him in two! I never needed a level 40 Chronosaur, because a two hits from a level 30 kills a Mosasaur. So, he's got really good attack anyway. He's got like 400 regular. Whoosh! Nah! Eh, I yet a crony. Roly poly crony, and that's it! Indicatherium! 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 <laughs> 100 bucks, 50 DNA. Uh, not too much prizes, even though it's a legendary. It counts as like a super rare, if that. Maybe even a rare. So there you go, Indicatherium unlocked! So let's get that underway. Uh, yeah, we've got 12 minutes left. So we'll speed up you for 8 bucks. Uh, we're gonna sell it for about 60, 65. I'm gonna say 70, sod it. Ah, 80, I was close. Uh, so Glacier... How good is Indicatherium in comparison to the Mammoth? Well, they are... There is a big difference. Let's see how much it costs. Probably about 4,000. Oh, 1,000 to speed up. Probably 4,000 DNA. Oh, here it is. Look, low angle camera. Ah, bam! <laughs> wow! That thing kicks really quick, doesn't it? Poosh! Don't want to be hit by that thing. So let's see. 5,000 DNA. So it's half the price of a Mammoth. And as far as stats go, the Mammoth has... More than double the health, and as far as attack goes, way more than double the attack, so... <laughs> it's, it's the Mammoth's worth. Mammoth's the best creature, as far as health goes, as far as attack goes, and especially as far as DNA goes. You can see the underneath of the place. I just realized that. Whoosh! God, I'd be worried. Oh, isn't it? oh god damn it, a spit of berries! <laughs> Well, guess what? You're just going to be sold because I think i got too many of you. Oh, no, I don't. Good, good, good. I was going to say, I don't want to sell you. Um, so that's two. Right, okay. There you go. We're going to do one by one. I guess we could put them all in. And you can see it come up from the underneath, the platforms. That's cool that they actually put the little stilts at the um, little hexagons land. If there was a shape, right, for 2016 it was, or 2015, whenever Jurassic World was released... Hexagon. Hexagon was the shape you saw literally everywhere. It was all over like Jurassic World's merchandise. But I, I noticed that everywhere, it seemed like every company was using hexagons for whether it was shapes of things or like the background design of things. It was always hexagons. I, I think it spilled over into 2016. 2017, I haven't seen too, too many shapes. I don't think I've been noticing, to be honest. I'm still in the hexagon world here, <laughs> so I haven't been looking. Um, actually, I'm wondering, is Endocathium strong against the Mammoth? Because I don't think he is. I think Cave is. 
I don't think uh, Savannah's good against cave though. And there's only one cave right now, so Savannah's pretty crap. Because <laughs> it's weak to surface, or sorry, um, it's weak to planes, which is the mammoth, so they're all going to be killed by the mammoth. And then um, there's only one thing it's good against right now, that's Andrew Sarkis. So, interesting. There's been a lot of people as well, sort of, at, like saying, why is marsupial lion a cave thing? It shouldn't be. Oh, there it is! Oh, beautiful. I did eight as well. Perfect. Oh, look how big you are. You're so cute. <laughs> Let's see its happy animation. Oh, that sound effect. Yeah. I feel like I've heard that a million and one times. Okay, let's make it angry. He's like, get off. Bugger off. Oh, that's cute. Okay, feeding animation. Oh, it eats trees. Awesome. Oh, that's an interesting looking tree. Nam. Are you going to pick a branch or... I mean, that branch... I was going to say, that branch looks like it could move. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Only a nibble. And then, then, and then, boop, there it is. Okay, let's get you guys maxed up. You'll, finally, I have something to sort of support my mammoth because every other creature has been pretty terrible. This is a really long animation. I've got to... I've got to... I gotta say, because most of them are... Actually, the glacier creatures, they're usually long, actually. Which is nice. Because that's one thing I think maybe Lydia are picking up on, is that people really love the animations of the creatures. Like, that's the reason why everybody likes park builder simulators and stuff like that. Because you can just sit and watch your creatures. Eat and move about and fight and the way they move. And it's nice if they're individual, because then they have personalities and stuff like that. And especially with the special attacks, because they'll all be different. I mean, I understand that they can't have unique animations, and it's sort of been this thing that people jump on the bandwagon of, oh, it doesn't have unique animations. I, I understand that they can't always have unique animations. But, um, I don't even know where I was going with that. I was just, I was just trailing off. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Be right back. The brain fart. Can you say that anymore? I think you can say brain fart, right? That's not offensive to anyone. Look how big he is in there. The Smilodon was absolutely tiny. Is that if they were in realistic order? Like size? Is the Smilodon really that tiny in comparison to Inukothurum? Inukothurum's really big though. And lots of people have said that it's not called Inukothurum anymore. It's got a different name. Uh, I'm not too sure what that is. But um, I mean, that's the thing. They're all, things like that, they're always going to change. So here's the level 20. Ooh. Oh, that's lovely coloring. Oh, it's adorable. Like it. Let's feed it. Funny if you, like, leveled it up, it got more and more aggressive. <laughs> By level 40, just, like, tearing down the tree. I'm just wondering, because I do want to put this in. Like, we're going to see its... F I don't think I've seen its full-on animation. I've fought quite a few of them in the past when we've done these Glacier videos, but I don't think I've seen one do its full-on animation. Like, it's full-on 7 to 8 attack. I haven't seen that. It's full-on animation leap. <laughs> Four-star. Beautiful. Alright, uh, get you. I think we got... Is that it? That might be it, actually. And then we just gotta get the level 30. I know what the level 40 looks like, because we've seen it before. I <laughs> love the little paddle of the leg. <sighs> so we're gonna be getting a lot more gold from this as well. Because when all my glacier creatures are ready to collect, it's about 500,000, so it's half a million. Uh, my aquatic is about 3 million. But um, I'm sure with this, it'll probably push it to 700,000. I'm imagining. Should we max it up? Should we do it, guys? Or should I annoy you? <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? If you're a good boy and good girl. Oh, now it looks like a giraffe. Bam! So level 20. Level... Th oh, God! So many colorings. Oh, it looks so cute. He's got a little jacket on. I wear fur, so what? <laughs> 28, that, like, I'm so glad that I'm getting loads and loads of food. Um, that I don't need to worry because we've got the Dilophosaurus hybrid coming soon. And we've got this, we've got more glacier creatures. We've probably got maybe, actually, I don't know if there's any more land creatures. We've got new hi two new hybrids, more glacier creatures. And then we've got uh, glacier creatures fight um, land creatures. That's going to be so weird. But the mammoth is going to be the only thing that can really take on Indominus Rex. I don't think anything else can. It'd be really interesting, like, Dilophosaur attacking an Indom- uh, sorry, Endocotherium. It'd be cool if they had, like, special, unique, interactive animations. 
But I don't I don't think they would put that in. It'll just be like, there's T-Rex. There's a Decatherium. So here it is, the level 40. Has a horn on its nose. Um Yeah, with with the glacier creatures when they level up, they don't get spikes like the land creatures and the aquatic creatures. The aquatic creatures also got spikes. Uh, apart from certain ones like Prognathodon was beautiful. It's like a, a, a swimming coral reef. But this one, uh, the glacier creatures usually get fur. They get fur and maybe one spike. Like this guy's got a horn thing. <laughs> so there it is. Ah, oh, look at you. Even more fluffy. Oh, that's cool. It's like an alpha. So let's make you happy. Nah. It's like a goat. I wonder what the animal is. Because it must be royalty free. I feel like I've heard it loads of times. 118,000. Let's get it to 420. Oh, 400 and... Oh, one more. There you go, maxed. There it is. 449 attack, 2,394 health. So pretty darn good. And the only thing left to do now is take it for a spin in the live arena. So he's, yeah, he's going to be second. Okay, my top three creatures. Should we put them in? We'll put in the mammoth first, then the Smilodon, and then the Endocotherium. We're going to be against a full team of mammoths because my mammoth is going to bring up the average and Smilodon really shouldn't be in there. Oh, okay. We do have a max mammoth, but we do have um, some low levels as well. But they're still pretty darn good. Tooth they're as good as an Endocotherium, a level 17 mammoth. But uh, maybe he'll switch out. We'll see. I'm not a max mammoth. But I don't think it'll make too much of a difference. The big difference is the jump between level 20 and 21. That's when you see the big difference in stats. So we went for one attack. We could go for a full-on three, even if he blocked for one, which he didn't to kill him. Right, so the aim of this is to see Endocotherium's max attack. Right, I know this guy can't do anything to me, even if he's got three, which he should do. Oh no, hold on, he went for a full-on two attack, didn't he? Damn it, my bad, okay. Right, the only problem is Endocotherium, I think, is weak to these planes. And especially with the Mammoth having like 5,000 health, it's not going to be very good for for Endocotherium. So I'm going to put in the Smilodon. I need, what I need is my Mammoth to gently tap down the last Mammoth's health so Endocotherium can actually kill it. Seven. Go on, go for it, my son. Go for seven. Six is close enough. That'll do. Rock slide. Ah! <laughs> I think that Smilodon didn't get hit. He sort of dodged out the way. I like how I never fight other VIPs in these battle arenas. Nobody's bought it, apparently, according to Ludian. So we'll do that. He did go for the one block. Awesome. Now, Mammoth, you can die as long as you take his health down a little bit. All right, he's a couple of levels lower. Four levels lower. Almost a hundred... Sorry, 90 attack lower. And health-wise, I don't know, because I've lost some. <laughs> oh, three! Okay, he's got, like, one... He's got one block. So one, two... And I'm not going to risk it because he might not have blocked. Well, there you go. That's okay. That'll do. Slow nudges. Just whap it. Come on. Go for another three. Go for another... Oh, yes. Okie dokie. Um, I don't know what to do. I'll do that. And then some blocks. Oh, he went for full on block. Okay. I always say full on. It's full on in this battle. <laughs> right, Mr. Buddy. I'm going to go for... Two hits, and then this. So hopefully he didn't block. Oh, three block. That's fine. I don't want to kill him. I want to see Endocotherium, but I'm not too sure how good Endocotherium is really going to be. I have to get a full on eight to kill it, probably. Probably. So we're going to keep on doing this. Two attack, two block, four reserve. Oh my god, he's terrified. He keeps on blocking. <laughs> Come on, do something. Do something. Go for some attack. Right, he's got three block possible. A possible three block. I don't want to go for four, because if he doesn't block, I kill him. So I'm just going to keep doing this until he goes for, like, one block. Yeah, there we go. Bam! We can take one more hit before he's dead. Six. Come on, go for a full-on six. Pick up sticks. Six, six, six. Yes, there we go. Okay, come on. Surely, Endocotherium could kill it. Surely, you would have thought. Flop. Oh, it just charges in. We got 225 attack. He has... I don't think he has anything. 
Look at that four thousand. We couldn't have killed it even if it had like no blocks. So here it is. Actually, I think we may have seen it. Kick. <laughs> it's like I kick and I roll and then you die. <laughs> oh, let's hit win. I haven't seen win. Oh, stomp that feet. Oh, that was cool. The Imperial the Alpha. So there you go. We've seen its attack. Well, it's full on attack. And also it's win animation. And we won <gasps> food. What an amazing prize. So there you go, guys. That, I think we've only got... Hold on. Let me just put in something. Oh, do I not? Okay, put in you. Put in you. And then do we have a legendary? Ah, you'll go in. And then yeah, you as well. There we go. So I think as far as glacier creatures go... It's, did we say we have eight? Eight, uh, eight out of eight? Hold the phone. How can we have eight out of eight? Yeah, we get 871,000 coin per 12 hours, so that's good. But how can I have eight of eight creatures? We've still got some to unlock. Don't we? Or is that the last creature? That can't... Oh, I do technically have eight. Oh, that's right, because we got Sarcastodon in a pack... And I bought a Glacier pack and we got Phosphorus. So yeah, I technically do have all the Glacier creatures. Now, I'm not going to do a video because who knows, maybe tomorrow Lydia's going to release the next wave of Glacier creatures. So until we get all of them, then we can do a video of all... Because that's what freaking happened with Hungry Shark World. I made a video of all XL sharks. Literally a week later, out comes the Orca. And I was like, damn it! <laughs> So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment tell me what your favorite glacier creatures and which one you're most excited for. Is it the sloths coming? Is it the uh, marsupial lion? Is it the amphicoon? Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye!